What's up guys, in today's video, we're gonna be doing something that I've literally been wanting to do for years, and that is catch a striper, for one, I've never caught a striper out of fresh water, to participate in the striper run. So what this time of year, the stripers all run up the rivers to spawn and they are just absolutely loaded. And my buddy Dan is letting me come out with him and go out on his boat. And he said last time they're out here, they caught over 150 striper, guys. Get that through your head, 150 striped bass in one day. So I'm gonna get in his car, we're gonna go down to the ramp, launch, and then hopefully we can get on some nice big stripers. Oh wow. Got one, there we go, <laughs> on the Death Stalker. Man, boom, <laughs> there we go, we got one in the boat. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, on the Death Stalker, baby. I knew this thing was gonna work. Oh yeah, I, I, this is a medium, I don't think I can flip this guy. Ah, here we go. <laughs> oh wait, yeah I can, I got it, there we go. Choke that thing, look at that. Oh, I got him in the gill, we'll get this guy back here. Let's get this guy back. Yep, he's fine. There we go. Man, crushed that thing. Just completely inhaled it. It was so far down his throat, it was in his gill. There we go. Got one. Man, it literally just slacked up. Ooh. Oh, oh my gosh. They are choking this thing. Holy crap. I literally felt him inhale it. Look at how he ate that thing, guys. It's literally so far down his throat. Like, look at that thing. Man, they're all so fat, all full of eggs. Boom, there he goes. Got him, there we go. Aha, it must be a squirt. Oh yeah, this guy, uh, is he a little bit bigger? Man, they love this thing. Oh yeah. You wanna, you wanna use one of these? I've been wanting to break out this camera, but I just wanna get down. But look at how pretty these fish are right here. We're gonna get this guy back. We might take one to do a little catch and cook. I wanna show you what I'm using here too. I'm using this, the Death Stalker from Catchco. Man, this thing is messing them up. Guys, I will leave this in the description. If you guys wanna check this out, the Shop Carl's link is in the description. And it's working, it's just a little blade bait sinking down there, just jigging it right off the bottom. And they are smoking it. Got one, there we go, got another one. Man, they're crushing this thing. This this one might be a little bit bigger. Oh yeah. Yeah, get up here. Boom. You want to measure them? We'll measure this guy. They got to be what, like 22 to keep? 18 to 22? He's still way short. He is 15 and a half inches. Got to be 18. Yeah, I know. He really did look longer. I think it's just because we've been catching smaller ones. Man, those fish are lively fish. All right, let's get this back down there. We've been fishing this stretch of bank. I think we're about to run either upstream or downstream. I'm gonna try to find some that are packed up in a school. The bite kind of slows down a little bit, but we're about to make a run here. And here we go after a pretty decent run upstream. We got a little bit clear water and a lot faster moving water. So we're gonna see how this comes into play here. You got one? Oh geez, he's already hooked up. Oh, he came off. Oh, I got one too. I think, oh wait, no, I got a stick. Dang, this train going right over where they're fishing. There we go, this is a bigger one. Man, he smoked it, holy crap. Oh wait, he looked a lot bigger than he actually is. Get back here. Ah, let's see if I can flip this bad boy. Jump, get up here. Oh yeah, he's, he's a little bit bigger. We haven't caught one in a while, so that's, that's a good feeling right there. Man, fat, fat fish. We haven't got one in a minute, so this, Feels awesome to get that one. Man, we're still trying to go for a little bit bigger one here. We've been, are, are these small ones that we're getting? Should, oh, yeah. yeah, they're small ones. Yeah, they should be a little bit bigger, but we're gonna keep fishing here. Try to link into one of these bigger ones. I honestly thought that one was bigger, but we'll keep fishing and we'll see if we can catch one of those big girls. Oh, I got one. There we go. Man, I didn't even, <laughs> he just like stopped it. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? It's a giant. It's a giant. Smallest one of the day. Get him back. I thought he was a little bit bigger than that. Just from the way that he, he was shaking his head, but I guess not. Well, it's a fish. I didn't realize I had... Is it a fish? Oh, it is. Jeez, it's a dink. I didn't even know I had one. Yeah, I know. They, I, I think they're just really small. Another dink for the day. Come on, we need to get at least one keeper for a catch and cook here. But hey, we're getting some. Oh, there's a dead one floating down the river right there. He didn't make it. That's actually a pretty big one right there. I think that's bigger than any other one we've caught all day. That's a log. 
No way was that a fish. Oh my god. That was a fish. Holy crap. Why would it be a lot? Oh, I'm such an idiot. Holy crap. God. Such an idiot. That was a monster fish. Oh my god. I got one too. I got one too. Uh, oh, it's a nice one. Here, get the net. There we go. This is the one I've been waiting for. Ow. Here, get it. Get it. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, there we go. We finally got a nice one. Yes. There we go. Woo. That's a big girl right there. That thing ate that. Holy crap. It's so far down its throat. Hopefully he's big enough. I'm trying to find one. I want to see how they taste. Just want to take one. That is my biggest one of the day. We're going to put it on the bump board. What do they got to be? Seven, 18 to 22? Something like that. We're going bump board it first. Yeah, so yeah, let's bump it's, it. Because it's swallowing. Let's see. Oh, he is. He's 18 inches, right? Oh, yeah. That's 18 right there. He's 18. He's 18. He's 18. There we go. We got the first keeper of the day. 18 right there. We're going to take him back. We're going to cook this guy up tonight. Oh, oh no. Here, kill your motor. It's all full of water. It just went right up. <laughs> got one. He hit it while I was bringing it right up. Got no. Oh, jeez. It's a giant. It's a giant one. Oh, geez, came right off. Look at that. Quick release. We got another striper right here. We'll get him back. Boop. He hit it while I was bringing it up off the bottom. He hit it when I was bouncing it. Got one. There we go. Right out in front here. Little one. Get up here. Man, I'm only getting like dings today. I did get, oh no. He fell. Got yet another one. Here we go. We'll get him back. Ooh, there he goes. On the death stalker. I broke off the other one, so I had to switch colors. The gold one's still working, though. Got one. There we go. Got another one. Let's see. Is he a little bit bigger? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a little bit bigger. Oh, jeez. He's running. I might need the net for this guy. Uh, actually, I don't know. He's definitely fighting harder than the, any other ones I've caught all day. No! Darn it! He got off! That was probably a keeper too. Man! Come on! Oh! I needed the net for that one. Got another one. There we go. Let's see. Is he a bigger one? Get up here. I don't even think I was recording. Oh, I was. Yet another striper, man. We caught a whole bunch today. Jeez, look at that. Look at it. I, I broke off yet another Death Stalker. I'm definitely going to have to pick up some more of these. These things are absolutely killing them today. We made it back after a long two hour car ride back with no one to talk to because this dummy did not want to come with her. He was, I was <laughs> he was offshore today, so he didn't get to come with. But we're going to flay this fish and we're going to bring it back to my house. And we are we're going gonna to eat stomach. this thing. We're going to open up the stomach and we're going to see what's inside. But unfortunately, you guys aren't going to be able to see that because YouTube will immediately cut ads off this video. But guys, we're about to flay this up and then I'm going to take the flays back to my house. And I want to try grilling the flays. We've never done this before and this is big enough. But I don't know if we have the grill because we're in the middle of moving right now. That's that's why Luke's flaying it because I lost my flay knife in the move. After this, we're gonna head back to my house and cook up the fish. We're gonna have to pick up some supplies. We're not going to Walmart this time. We're actually going to Harris here. I'm too lazy to run all the way over to Walmart. So we need breading and some butter and I think that's pretty much it. I've only been into Harris Teeter like probably about five times. I literally have no idea where anything is, but I honestly hate coming here because every time I come here, I run into somebody I know and it gets so awkward, I hate it. But I'm gonna keep trying to find the butter in the breading now. Here we go, should we go with the original? Yes, we are gonna go with, I can't believe it, it is not butter, original. Literally after like 45 minutes of searching, I'm such an idiot, I walked past it like five times. As soon as I ask someone for help, it's like literally I'm standing right in front of the aisle. So we're gonna get Italian style breadcrumbs as always. We're gonna be cooking this kind of like we cooked other fish, but we're gonna be doing it with a much bigger filet. We got the camera on the tripod. This is gonna be my actual first ever solo catch and cook. I usually do these with Luke, but Luke is not here right now. So I'm gonna have to be cooking the fish on my own this time. Never done this before, so this should be interesting. This video is pretty much just gonna be me trying to figure out how to cook these fish and hopefully make them taste actually good because I've heard striper actually tastes 
pretty dang good. That's why I only kept one. I only kept one because I just wanted to see how they taste. I've never had a strike before. I am a catch and release fisherman, but I will keep panfish every once in a while to eat. But I mean, I'm a catch and release man. Like it, it kind of hurt me a little bit to keep that striper. But hey, I just I'm gonna try it once. And if I like it, then I like it. If I don't, then I don't. I only kept one. Let's start getting the ingredients out. So first thing we got to do is find some eggs. I heard we have eggs, and then put the breading in a bowl as well, and then. Hopefully we have a pen. Like I said in the beginning, we're like, literally, this is the new house. I have no idea where every, anything is, so it should be interesting. This is going to take much longer than it usually does, so let's get right into it. This is what we're going to use in substitute for oil, butter. We found out that butter usually tastes a little bit better, so we're going to use butter as our oil. And then we are going to use, this is my go-to right here, a st Italian style breadcrumbs. You can't go wrong with these things right here. I should have got some Frank's hot sauce, man. I've been wanting to try that. We tried that in Wisconsin with Tyler, but we'll, we'll just do this for now. Maybe next time I'll do some little, add a little Frank's to it. That should be plenty right there. Now I got to find the eggs, then we'll crack them up. We got some brown eggs this time, large grade eggs. Egg, eggs, I don't know what the difference is, but I can't even figure out how to open up this package. There we go. And this is some fancy packaging for just some eggs. Look at that. It covers them and everything. One egg down. There we go. Boom. Two eggs. Now I'm going to have to find a fork somewhere and we're going to beat them up and then we're going to dunk the flays in here, get them all coated, and then throw them in here. Then we'll throw them on the pan, which we got over there on the stove, and then start cooking these things. We did not bleed the fish this time, so I was letting them sit in water for a little bit. So we're going to dry the flays off with some paper towel. That one should be nice and good. Yeah, I'm going to have to cut these. I'm going to have to cut these right here. We're going to make little like nugget type things. We're making like striper nuggets now. We go. We're going to start to dunk them in the eggs here. Just go back and forth. And then we're going to plop them straight into the breading here flip them around a couple times make sure we get that all breaded up good and there we go <laughs> that looks amazing there so we're gonna set that there and I'm gonna do these with the rest of them and then the butter looks like I might have to turn that down because I was not expecting to make nuggets alright so here we go I'm gonna do the rest of these and then we'll get ready to put them in there we got all the little striper nuggets here we're gonna turn the stove back on and then we're gonna start plopping these things in here one by one we're just gonna wait till this starts to get hot a little bit it looks like it's already kinda hot so We'll just plop these little nuggets in. They are gonna take a little bit longer to cook just because they are a lot thicker. And this is actually a lot more fish than I thought. So, I mean, that's plenty enough for me. We're about to plop the first flays in. We're gonna try to find some with the same thickness. Let's do the thick flays first here. Move them around a little bit. Let's see, where's another thick one? Ooh, there we go. We're just gonna wait for these to cook. And then we're gonna eat them and see how they taste. I think they are pretty much done. Let me check the inside of this one. Oh yeah, they're done. They are done, they're coming off now. All done, all looks amazing. This is gonna be my first time ever eating striper. Let's see how it's gonna taste here. Did it cook all the way? Yes, I did, look at that. Oh, oh my gosh. This, this tastes amazing. I've never tasted fish like this before. This is weird. This is like, it's got a different texture to it. And it's also like thicker than what we usually do. So this is really good. I'm actually glad I kept this one. This tastes amazing. And I think I did a pretty good job for my first time actually cooking this stuff by myself without Luke cooking it. And I hope the filming wasn't too bad. I literally just have it on a tripod right here. I think this is honestly the best catch and cook that I've ever participated in right here. Well, I'm gonna eat all of this, but I gotta do one thing first. Addy, come here. Yo, dog, you want some? You want some? This is striper. You want to try some? Try it. What do you think? What do you think? You like that? <laughs> she likes it. Come here, little doggy. We'll try some too. Try some. Try it. She's picky. She might not eat it. You're gonna take it. You're gonna take it and run away because Addy's gonna come and eat it from you. But there you go. The dogs like it. I like it. I think it was a success. And I think that is gonna wrap up the video. So thanks so much for watching today's video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to a ton of amazing content. Come to wait and you're not gonna miss it. This was my first time striper fishing. My first time eating the striper as well. So this was a great day. We caught tons of fish. I think we ended up catching around 15 between the three of us. And we got one keeper and we cooked them up and it tasted awesome. But anyways, thanks for watching. See ya.